In this video, we're discussing the features of well-functioning um, financial systems. Um, a relatively quick video where we just define certain terms and then kind of come to the conclusion that if a financial, a financial system possesses these characteristics, then it is well-functioning. Okay, first of all, complete markets, as in uh, financial markets. This is a concept I want you to appreciate. A market um, would be <coughs> regarded as being complete if, well, or it's a market where investors, so those with, with funds with money, can invest for the future. Um, so, you know, transform uh, what they presently have into something that they will hopefully have in the future. It's also a market where borrowers uh, obviously can obtain funding uh, with a promise to pay it back in the future, uh, to uh, obtain funds, in other words, to borrow money. It's also a market where hedgers uh, can, you know, trade away or offset uh, financial or non-financial risks and of course all types of traders can just uh, trade and um, that's a complete market and if on top of that uh, the costs of doing so if costs of arranging trades are low, then the market isn't just complete, it's also operationally efficient. So that's an operationally efficient, uh, you know, system or indeed an operationally efficient market. Um, on top of this, I mean, operationally Operational uh, efficiency is one type of efficiency, but if you've done any studies of uh, you know efficient uh, the high efficient markets hypothesis, which is also within equity the equity investment section of the curriculum, you will know that there's also something called informationally efficient market or informational efficiency. So on top of this, if asset uh, prices or asset or contract prices, like derivative contracts, of course, reflect all the available uh, information, obviously all the relevant and available information, um, then we're talking about an informationally efficient market or system informationally efficient system stroke market okay good now if you couple all of these things so the market being complete operationally efficient and informationally efficient you get yourself a well-functioning financial system so to answer the question that was sort of in the um, or the concept that was in the heading, what is a well-functioning financial system? Well, a well-functioning financial system, according to your book, system um, is one uh, or is characterized by the markets being complete complete markets giving you know possibilities to investors borrowers hedgers traders it should be operationally efficient so operationally efficient markets uh, and of course operational efficiency uh, means that trading costs are low uh, 
commissions charged by the arrangers of trades like brokers should be low. Bid ask spreads, which are also an implicit cost of trading, should be uh, should be narrow or low. Uh, this also comes with volume of operations, so with liquidity, and you know it should also be informationally efficient. Informationally efficient markets. Um, so typically that's achieved by having requirements concerning things like disclosure of information by issuers by you know um, but also disclosure of macro macroeconomic data by governments or various government agencies and you know if the market is informationally efficient then prices uh, should reflect not just available information but prices should reflect fundamental values um, you know within equity investments we talk about the intrinsic value of an asset which is derived from a projection of its cash flows and prices that we observe in the market should be reflective of those okay um, well functioning financial systems are made possible or they are produced by various intermediaries who create these systems and these market intermediaries um, which we discussed in uh, you know previous separate videos so brokers dealers exchanges alternative trading systems uh, securitizers custodians clearing houses banks insurers uh, probably omitted a few but all of those are absolutely um, necessary to create a system that is well functioning and of course having a well functioning system brings about numerous benefits so the benefits of well functioning financial systems are such that it uh, first of all allows for the allocation of capital allocation of capital uh, investors can easily, uh, you know, put money into various project schemes uh, designed by entrepreneurs. They can trust one another. They know that there's, uh, you know, there's systems in place to take care of the interests of investors. In the next video, we'll be talking about regulation, which is designed to. Um, I guess, uh, I guess, reduce the uh, information asymmetry between the different players in the markets. Well, one of the things that it can do is is reduce that. You know, if if the market's not well functioning, then investors wouldn't necessarily trust people with their money. Uh, you'd only invest uh, in those schemes and projects that are set up by those who you know well and those who you trust with well functioning systems. These can be the, the two sides can be complete strangers, never, and nevertheless trust the information that they uh, that one side presents to the other. And um, with informational um, efficiency, which we discussed as being one of the traits up here of a well-functioning system, that allocation is not just easy. It should. I mean, if we do have complete information uh, and access to complete information, we should come to the optimal conclusion. So it should not just be easy, but also the optimal allocation of resources, especially uh, capital.